Talking kit today, kit priorities, had a bunch of questions on it, so kind of just wanted to talk through. My whole career, I ran with three up front and one in the gun. I never did anything more, but we had a very specialized job. I didn't have to go up into corn golf for two weeks at a time. I could basically get through with everything I had on me. So for me, kit priority, magazines up front. They're easy to work with. Not having them too far down to where you can't hinge, but not having them too far up that when you go to draw them, it's in your face. For some of the guys in the military, everybody's running ATAC tablets now. I'm a civilian, I don't need to run one, I'm not cool anymore. But those things are huge. So a lot of these, they started building in a little bit of space right here just to get them away for that nav board because it has to sit down here. But your draw stroke is different. See, we have to rep it. We have to rep it like it's real. So this is kind of the configuration I ran. When we were in Afghanistan, we'd leave the pouches all the way closed. But I've also never had to speed mag change anything. So if that tells you anything, it's not a, it's not a super real scenario to run through 30 rounds and have to speed reload and shoot again. It's not something we were uh, having to do very often. Next outside, we talk about tourniquets. You can reach with both hands. Always need one. This one's just kind of out of the way. It blends in with the kit. There's nothing I really want to put there right now other than a tourniquet. Miscellaneous pouches, kind of breaching charges, whatever I need. I kind of flooded to the left side. I ran everything on my belt line too on this, trying to leave anything or everything free and clear on the right-hand side. I didn't run a pistol very often overseas, not, um, not after like 2009, but when I did, it became a priority. So the guys on entry teams, SWAT teams, those kind of guys, I get really leery when I see a bunch of guys maximizing kit space out here. And it's because you have to be able to drop a weapon, grab a pistol and bring this thing out free and clear. I don't want you just, it's clear and safe. Somebody freaks out on me here. So I don't want you to have to defeat garment this way to be able to pull a pistol out. I don't want that. I don't want you to have to get really dynamic. I want that gun to go click and this thing fishes out nice and clean. That's kind of the cadence we have to be able to do. So if it's not absolutely necessary, if it's not a, a ninja star or if it's not a pocket shooter who's gonna jump out and clear your corner for you, I'd leave this shit pretty clean. That's just me, it's kind of what I tell guys now. If you do a job where you have a greater than 50% chance of being in a gunfight inside of a singular room, this thing becomes really, really important, especially if you have to do it in the daytime. So police, SWAT teams, this whole thing needs to be super, super fast, super clean. So I tell guys to shit can everything to one side. And even when I wasn't carrying it, when I would sling my gun, it would come this way. So I don't want a bunch of kit. Now it's getting caught up on my sling and everything else. I try to keep one side free and clear. So whatever side I sling to, I try to go there. 